Okay, this is a um, update on the spider cocoon. Um, I'm going to go over some of the paints that I used, uh, the techniques that I used, um, how to uh, make the uh, plastic bags do what you want and everything, and uh, some paints, how to, what not to do. I've learned a little bit about painting and everything in this process and um, so go over a few things, show you what I've done and uh, go from there. This is uh, where it's at so far. Not not nearly done. I'd say about two thirds halfway done. Um, the um, entrails and the legs. The rest of the legs down here will probably be uh, cocooned, like below the knee points there, where you see the uh, uh, this here, the cracks right in here and over here. The rest of that will probably be um, webbed up and everything. Um, but let me go real quick how to do some of this stuff. The uh, these this piece here is uh, wood that I uh, drilled and um, I, I drilled a hole in there and then used my uh, jigsaw to cut out that form and then used my uh, dremel to uh, shape and carve it into the uh, two separate bones for the arm um, and uh, let's see here, let, uh, start with the uh, hand I started with uh, having the thumb made which is just uh, warming up the um, the plastic and shaping that and adding to it for the knuckle and everything. And um, to start the hand, as you saw in the other video, there's a, a wire form over uh, underneath this that I uh, sculpted over, and I um, took the bag and wrapped it side to side. And right in here, you can still see kind of that formation right in here and here, a little bit up in here, and not much over here though. And then I layered um, the uh, the tendons in next over the top of that, and I took a bag and cut it into strips of about two inches wide. And just like you see the texture there, I twisted it and I, I melted it and anchored it on this end up here, twisted it and then melted it and anchored it down here on each one of these tendons here. And then um, uh, shrunk that and melted it and got these formations here. So I got the, the texture going this way and I got the tendons that are separate and um, uh, everything going the way I want it to uh, so that the, the texture shows off what's there. Um, the real wrinkled stuff like, um, like in here is all loose bags. It's really loose and everything and it uh, um, wrinkles up and everything and then you layer layers and layers over that and it smooths up as you go or tighten it up and everything um, the uh, the holes were uh, burnt in with the um, heat gun and you can see some of the uh, let me get out of the light you can see some of the texture under there from the different layers and everything and then the smoother layer over the top of that um, I went for kind of the uh, Freddy Krueger burnt holes, a little bit of skin look to it. Um, it's kind of weird. The uh, overall texture of it as it dried has uh, actually changed. I've, I've been away from it for about a week. And um, it's kind of strange like the um, spotting in here. I hadn't originally noticed that. Uh, you can see there kind of a salt and pepper 
speckling. That's uh, from the uh, black spray paint that I sprayed first. It's a um, Krylon plastic uh, spray paint. And then I sprayed some yellow over that. But I'm kind of surprised how much of it shows through. And um, one thing I, I will um, say right off the bat is I wish I had mixed some latex into this acrylic. Um, I, I'm finding spots like that that chip away. I'll have to uh, mix up some latex into some uh, acrylic and go over that and everything. I wanted the arms to flex. And by flexing, you can see right there that the, the paint flakes off and everything. So I'll have to go through and find places that really flex a lot and uh, fix those and redo that. Um, but yeah, definitely take a little bit of uh, liquid latex and mix into your uh, acrylic so that it really sticks down good. Um, let's see here. Uh, the This is all pretty much self-explanatory. It's just layers and layers of uh, plastic bags. The hands, the, the fingers and knuckles and everything, I just kind of sculpted that out. I'd wrap them around and melt it. And then uh, just using my hands and bearing with the pain, uh, sculpt that out and everything with my fingers. Um, same with all that there. Um, the entrails, I started off with uh, one strand of yarn uh, running through the, um, uh, the first one that I made and uh, I strung it up between um, a couple of supports. I think I used a shovel and a chair to tie the yarn to and let it uh, hang. And then I uh, sculpted my plastic bags over the top of that. And then um, I uh, uh, made the others just based off that and going off the same uh, uh, supports and everything of that, that yarn and everything. But uh, this is just wired in. Uh, so you can barely see the, uh, the wires right there at the end of my fingertip and uh, it's just wired in so that they'll hang and swing and everything um, but yeah if you want a um, highly textured you definitely have to uh, go over it a couple times um, and do uh, layers and layers of plastic I think I probably used about 500 plastic bags in this thing um, I want to go with the, uh, the green, um, spider webbing just cause it, um, uh, it, it stands out better and, uh, the head still has the wobble to it when you hit it and everything. The, uh, the, I put the latex in the, um, in this, uh, let me see if I can get this to show up for my, uh, profile picture of it. Uh, a lot of the teeth were, uh, knocked out at one point, uh, when I drilled the, um, sockets out for the eyes, um, But uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go with the uh, the green because I have a lot of uh, black lights and everything. This stuff glows real good in the uh, black light. Um, the back I still have to do. I realize that since it's gonna be hanging so low and everything that the back will have to be done. So that's gonna be a tedious process of working with uh, finished area and non-finished area and and so uh, you can see right in here in all the uh, red that I need to uh, go back over that and probably use the uh, the latex mixture like I talked about. I have to go through that there. A couple areas. I've moved it just a little bit and it's already kind of 
opening up and stretching and splitting and so ongoing project hit the 10 minute mark there better call that a wrap oh actually i wanted to go over the uh, the paint mixture the um the blood right there in that area is a bright red uh dark brown a uh, little bit of blue and um actually no the the blood is just the two the red and blue like you would expect uh the more flesh tones uh that are in it in the hands and everything that included the uh the dark brown but also uh yellow kind of a uh what is the name of that taffy cream like a cream yellow it's not a real bright yellow more of a pastel yellow and the gray and then there is various uh, dark browns and light browns put into it but um, the, the browns uh, I mixed up the uh, red and blue as the blood and then added the uh, yellow um, I think it was almost an even mix of yellow and the red and the gray. So about a third gray, third yellow, and a third red. And the brown is almost like you would add to uh, your blue to your blood. You put a drop of blue to your red to make blood. And the, uh, the brown I did the same way, just a drop of it and everything to... Um, kind of darken it up the uh, collars had um, the yellow uh, kind of made a, a flesh tone right off the bat with the, the red and everything so get another shot of that but yeah coming along pretty good liking it Ongoing project though with uh, having already moved it once and uh, some of the paint chipped away so hopefully that won't be too much of a problem. Thanks for watching, sub, subscribe and uh, comment.